everyone, Coach Lisi here, owner founder of Challenge You Softball and Cut It Concentric Hitting. All right, here's the deal. Uh, these are different type of bands. These are the Rocket three level bands. They have actually two more levels, I believe, but these, I, I like to use these when I come and practice myself as I'm studying my private lessons and hitting. I like to actually do it. All Cut It coaches, you know that you have to do it yourself also. So I hope you're enjoying this beautiful day and having a great job. Uh, so here's the deal. Anyway, the link for these are below. You get a discounted uh, rate on them and they're very quality. So make sure you hit that link below to get these. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to actually go with, I'm a little tired because I ran this morning, but whatever. I'm going to go with three. Okay. So you're actually going to clip this on to the piece that comes with these bands. Guess what? Bottom half time. Next, when you're practicing outside, you want to find your pole. They're everywhere. I used to practice outside so much, little tip for catchers. I used to take um, those big blue garbage cans. I used to dump out all the garbage, and if it was windy, I'm sorry, town of Dumont. I used to dump them. I used to put the garbage pill right at second base for my throw down. So you just learn how to practice by yourself. I really want you to do this. I really want you kids to do it. Seriously, it's awesome. Just get some music on and enjoy it. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna secure my band. All right, I'm gonna secure it to a solid pole. If I was in the facility, you know, I would use a pitching machine, but um, honestly, I like working outside sometimes too. Now, this, guess where it's going? Back ankle, back leg. Oh yeah, okay. Yep, definitely feel that there. But guess what? You gotta drive now. Okay, beautiful. Now, I like this specifically, because um, when we're not using our bands that go around our legs together, this is great because you could you could increase your um, resistance right away. So if I'm like, okay, you know what, let me start back here and progress with any drill, walk through drills, anything. I'm gonna show you so many drills, but I can progress myself. So I'd be like, you know what, um, let me get gritty here. You know, I could train myself mentally and be like, let me get gritty, all right, let me move up, let me move up. And it's definitely fearful, like it's gonna snap and just like whip you in the leg, but it's not, so you're okay. So when you set up for your drill, guys, make sure that you have your T. And I love the rocket net because you get all your balls quick and you dump them. I can't stand when people take time picking up balls. Just waste time, time is valuable. Now, what we're gonna do is I'll just start a regular progression here. This is gonna force me to drive my backside and not just uh, turn my back foot. Again, younger players can. Remember I told you, just tell them to uh, show the sneaker. All right, all right, cool. So I'm all set up here. Now, there's a lot of drills that we could do with this. Uh, let's start with the bat behind the back. Next level of bat behind the back drill. Cut it circuit, one. Load, lift, pop. Okay, that foot should have moved but boy, I'm really far up, and I definitely feel it. Whew. All right, here we go, ready. I'm in, and now that triggered me, boom. All right, Lee, uh, you're a little lazy on that first one, drive it more the second one, now it turned on my mindset, just from that, that feedback right away. So I love that. Do a couple of those, I'm just gonna do two for the sake of the time of the video. And I drive, that's one. Part two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet together. Wow, I say wow a lot on these videos. Sound like I'm definitely out of shape, but I'm not, I promise. All right, two, we're gonna control our bottom half and we're gonna get into rhythm here, all right? So I have my, hands to, my uh, feet together, my hands up, and I'm gonna train my athlete, I'm gonna train myself to get back into a rhythm and control that resistance and fight the urge to get sloppy. It's about um, having a, a focused mindset, being in a state of flow, one of our three concepts. And a word of the week that we always use for cut it is control, being in control, all right? And being certain that you are in control. So I'm gonna step back and I have to control that because it's, <laughs> it's definitely pulling me. So I'm in control. Now I, now I can squat, okay? Here we go. Squat, lift. Yeah, excellent drill, excellent drill. Definitely tra uh, trains you and the players to be okay with just getting in that squat and driving. Now, I personally have to still work on making sure I don't cast. That was always my problem. 
So I have to watch that. Here we go. <laughs> yep. And just make sure you got that rhythm going back. But you're in control here. If I wanted to push myself further, I'd literally be up here. And that's why I love these bands. That link below. Trust me. Get over the typical training ways. Right now, my body's definitely getting a little tired because it's like whipping you and you have to be in control in so many areas. Okay. Last but not least, another drill for you guys. And obviously, you know, I like to show you drills, but make sure that you study the concepts before. Um, that's my biggest pet peeve. So you're watching these drills. You got to watch the mechanics before. Go cut it.com. Read the steps. My version of the steps. My version. My version. Here we go. Next round, I'm gonna control the back here. All right, so I just worked on throwing this, boom, and lifting. Now I wanna work on the opposite mindset and attacking the ball. This is my little reminder to keep my, my hands close. Here we go. Lift, amortization, load it up, split it, throw it. And I wanna drive a little harder on that back side, just to like trigger your mindset that your muscles are working. Go one more. I got these bangs. Oh, okay. All right. So, typically, what I could do is edit this video to make it like I got five in a row beautifully, but I don't get five in a row beautifully to this day. I mean, my mindset's got to be really on. I got to be really in it, and four out of five, I'd be happy with. I'd be so grateful with. But um, yeah, I think it's important to show kids that like we're not perfect. You know, we're always learning. Uh, so, whip it off. And I'll put this circuit together. Obviously, this is after your players know the steps and you've drilled them with the basics. I'm just giving you tips on how to get it to the next level. With all the videos that are out there now, and even old videos I've done, you can pretty much train those basics easily. It's just about actually doing it a lot and doing it correctly. Uh, after a while, it's like riding a bike, but you gotta reinforce it with harder training, a harder level of training, and that's cut it. Hands up, load it up, and go. Here we go, hands up, lift. So that's my circuit. Uh, rocket bands, the link is below, grab them. It changes your whole level of training. I'll try to make some more drill videos of how we use these guys. I honestly have about like 23 drills so far right now with this alone. And uh, yeah, you can use it for a six year old, seven years old. My nieces are uh, three, and, three and five, four and six. And yeah, I pretty much do this crazy stuff with them already because it's about how you teach it. So uh, yeah, so check it out, gocutit.com. Once you get your bands, we can train together. I'm gonna make a lot of videos now. And uh, that's it. Thanks for your support. Follow us on Instagram, especially for more updates. My favorite part of this specific net, all the balls are in here. Hello. And when you have 90 kids running around at a camp, Picking up balls, this is very awesome. So thank you, Rocket. Check out the link below to get your own net today and uh, great product. Thanks for uh, putting work into making this beautiful. Thanks.